Hey, hey, this is Suzanne, signing in. I'm here to showcase an arc build I've cooked up using the Hunter Exotic Foe Tracer. When I make my builds, I like to categorize them into three main factors. Boss damage, survivability, and ad control. The ability to quickly clear our enemies. I think this build shines best in boss damage and still does a good job at surviving in ad control. Let's dig in. Looking at the meat that is the exotic perk, damaging a combatant with an ability of any kind grants a 25% weapon damage buff in the element of your class, my case, arc with an added benefit of creating an elemental pickup when the target is defeated by that weapon matching your class elements. With this in mind, let me show you the subclass itself. Most of these choices are based on what you want to use, so I'll just go over the must-haves, starting with my melee, Combination Blow. For with it, my melee isn't consumed unless I defeat a target, which is the key to the whole thing. Defeating a target with it procs the melee buff, giving you a timer. As long as that timer is active, you can continue to proc Foe Tracer with a melee hit because your punch is buffed from said melee ability. Combo it with Gambler's Dodge so I can get my melee back to create that infinite loop of melee and dodge charge. Looking at the aspects, I run Flow State and Lethal Current. Bear with me. When in combat, before I activate the damage buff, I like to dodge which will also grant me the benefits from Lethal Current. I'm talking about that aftershock you deal which stuns some adds, stopping them from punching you in the face for a second. Flow state is really just there to make me amplified. Adding a little bit of spice are the fragments. Spark of ions and discharge, both helping with ability regen. Shock is fun to jolt targets with grenades which causes some stunning on weaker opponents and I'm blinding them to help with ad control. Lastly, spark of resistance to add to my survival. Now that you know the meat of the build, let's look at the sides. Weapons. Today, I actually have two options, each having something better than the other. The first one, and my go-to, Ragnahild, Nation of Beasts, and Legend of Acheris. Recall that these two are arc weapons to reap the damage buff I mentioned before. Both my hand cannon and heavy grant ionic traces by slain combatants, and my shotgun is there to combo with my melee, combination blow, when I run out of heavy ammo. This first loadout shines in close range combat, especially against champions. When it comes to gold bars before reaching the boss, this is fun to mow down anything and everything in sight. In the right conditions, every activity is a breeze, up until master difficulty. That's where the second loadout comes in when you need some range. Lumina, Deadweight, and Windigo. Listen here. Lumina gives a weapon buff when you shoot a noble round to an ally, giving both them and yourself a 35% buff for 10 seconds, which stacks with the buff you receive from Foe Tracer, giving a total of 60% weapon buff from the two sources. Hold on, hold on. <clears throat> hey, this is Future Sita. After doing some damage testing against Greg here, don't worry, it still gives it that 60% damage buff. Thing is, the two percentages add up to 60% mathematically, but don't equal 60% in game. It's between more like 68 to 69%. I don't know why that is honestly, I've run the data through all possibilities. It's time, I ask for some help, if you would. Nonetheless, the buff's even better than I originally thought. Okay, back to what I know. Combo that with perks like Trench Barrel or Explosive Light to further increase your damage output. Finally, the toppings. Armor perks. Once again, there's nothing here I'd say would be necessary for the whole thing, but I'll at least show you the ones I run, which are based off my playstyle and the ones I like using. Well, that's all there is to it, yeah? I hope this has inspired some builds of your own, or you can just copy me like we're in school. Eh. Nonetheless, the grind is real, and I wish you the best of luck out there. This is Sutany, over and out.